Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use a CSS class to style an element. Here are reuse, um, classes are reusable styles that can be added to HTML elements. Here's an example of a class. Um, here's an example of how they lay it out. And you can see that we've created a CSS class called blue text within the style tag, blue text. You notice how it's got a period right here. That's because it's a class. So remember that the period is related to class. I think of it like in, when, when you're in middle school, you have various periods, um, which is like you've got your period one and your period two, and those are the first, second, and third periods of the day or whatever. And so those relate to classes. That's just how I remember it. It's a funny little thing in my mind. Um, inside our style element, we want to change the H2 selector to read dot red text and update the color's value from blue to red. Give your H2 element the class attribute with a value of red text. So this is a tricky one if you've never done this before, though these classes are very common in, in the way that the web's built today. So what we want to do is go into the H2 element <clears throat> and we're going to add an attribute. And that attribute will be... Um, class, and then we're going to make it equal to um, red dash text. Um, in the classes, you can do another. You can add other classes by just adding a space. So red text would be one, but let's say we wanted to have another one that was like um, big, you know, font. You could do another one like this, and you can chain these attributes together. But for now, we just want to make it red text. And then we're going to adjust the style up here. Um, so we're going to do dot for the period, or the period, which means the class. And then we're going to write in red text. And then after that, we're just going to make it red. And that should change this to red. And it should fulfill the requirements of this one. This is very common. So you're going to see the class element, all sorts of things here. Um, say we wanted to do another one, say like blue link. We could make another one and then make the color um, actually, we're, we're going to make it green because blue is a very common color for links. Um, say we wanted to make the A element do that, we could also write it in as class and then make it uh, green uh, link. And then I just change this back up here to key. And you'll see that this should turn green. Ah, I see what I did. Instead of adding the class to the link, I added it to the image. And so the color of the image isn't going to change. You see that this href, this is the link that's wrapping the image. But if I add this over to the link where I initially wanted to do it, you see it turns green. And so that's basically how these work. You don't need the class of green in here to pass the tests. So we'll get rid of that. And then we'll run the tests and we should pass. That's it. Thanks for the, watching this one. I hope it was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.